right, so tonight we get another look at the proud New Yorker, Matt the Steamroller Frivola. And it's rare when a fighter is always featured on numbered fight cards. That has been Matt Frivola's reality. Six consecutive fights on a number pay-per-view event, and it speaks to his elite nature as a lightweight, but it also speaks to his fighting style. Not a big fan of judges' scorecards. He is in there to win, but he does prioritize entertainment, sometimes at his own peril. Reference the Benoit saint -Denis fight. But this is a knockout artist of the highest order, and right now, one of New York's best hopes to enter contention and be a future world champion. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makashev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm going to get you. I'll get my hands locked. I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed for him to become the champion. And tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Akashev. And we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Akashev tonight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Matt the Steamroller, Rivola! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, Ready? our Ready? referee for this Ready? show. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC double champion. From outside of the arena, he built up to the fight to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor has his name and stuff. Well, nice overhand left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Looks like some head trauma. Beautiful combination. Lead left by Islam Makashi. Nice. Nicely done. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Fighter connects there.
Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Matt Provola. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Three minutes now to go in this one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Islam Akashev gets caught by that. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Beautiful knee. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You can't knock back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, big left hand there. Travola's strike attempt there is blocked. Big double leg, level change. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Under two minutes to go. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Great shot from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Just work. Under a minute to go in our opening round. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Makashev's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Print the shirts, ground and pound. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful transition. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guy starts to attack triangle. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes Ready he makes fight. to give himself Ready. an opportunity. All right, round two. Lands a strike there. Oh, a huge block there. Really nice left hand there. Superman punch there. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Big hook. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. All right, there it is. He stuffs yet another takedown. And 
Not a bad attempt by the wrestler, but he hasn't realized any success with his takedown game thus far. No, you know, sometimes, John, it's not enough. You can beat the guy to the position. The guy is just well-versed enough to defend, and that's exactly what we're seeing from this balanced fighter. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far, folks. Oh! Islamakashev gets caught with that punch. Oh! Alright, so another nice strike by him there as he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by the steamroller, Matt Favola. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take down very early in fights, but to... Oh! Well, you can feel that freeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Islam Akasha. Just over two minutes now to go around two. Frivola's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Collar tie here in the clinch. And now some separation. Oh! All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focusing. Beautiful combination to get the knockdown. Back to his feet. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ. Wow. Uh, how good was that judo toss? All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth in the submission defense wins this transition. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Fribourg. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
Ready to fight. Ready. Four. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He's looking to land the right just out of reach. That's it. Oh, my goodness. With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Matt the Steam Robot. Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. You're crying? You're crying? <laughs> I mean, almost. A, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.